We're going to start with a green line south. It includes the stations 51st, Garfield, and College Grove, and 63rd. And we have uh, Guillan Foreman to be the speaker and the presenter. And uh, Guillan is the managing partner for Washington Park Development Group and the executive director of the Greater Southwest Development Corporation. He is a visionary leader responsible for identifying investment opportunities and partnerships and transforming traditionally underserved urban markets. He is one of our key partners and connectors in the Green Line South area. Uh, Guillen is who I call when I need to know anything or anybody south of Roosevelt, uh, and sometimes north of Roosevelt. He's a steering committee member of Elevated Chicago and was one of the participants in the application that secured the SPARC funding for Elevated Chicago. He's a 2016 winner of the Private Bank Norman Bobbins Leadership Award and a member of the Chicago Police Board. Join us. All right, so I know I don't have to explain this to you guys, but Green Line South. When we have investors coming in from out of town, V or Bernard, anything like that, banks, where's, where's Susan from the, the Federal Reserve? We have people coming from out of town, and they tell their husband or wife or partner, going to the south side of Chicago, are you going to be safe? So we're going to show you that you're going to be safe. There's a lot happening. You guys understand it, but a part of what Spark is allowing us to do is to tell the story in a much bigger way that you're going to be safe. All right, nobody told me how to operate to get to the next slide. So, all right. Community tables. You guys work in communities. It's no easy table. So what we had to do was, first we started with a kind of a smaller table. That's myself, Sunshine, Urban Juncture. We have Excess Tennis, Kamau. University of Chicago, uh, arts and public life. And then our, our kind of community parks, just as vital as that first table, Blacks and Green, Sweetwater. Uh, you guys can read the list on and on. But everybody is doing things to make sure that things happen. And, and, and equal to that is kind of this community anchors. These are some of our government officials, park district, uh, police, schools, things like that. So the first two, we're trying to drive the policy changes down to the third. Because if we sit around and wait, now I'm not saying this badly, but MPC, they've studied this area. LISC, they've studied this area. The Obama Foundation has studied this area. The city has studied the area. The Olympic Committee has studied the area. We've been studied more than you could imagine. So our whole thing right now is about action. We're done with studies. We're about action. So part of what I wanted to do is just put it in context. When that person is flying from out of town and saying, hey, I'm going to the south side of Chicago, this is what we're saying. Hey, there's downtown. Here's the University of Chicago. Here's the Museum of Science and Industry. We have to put it in context for people. Oh, I've been there before. Yeah, so it's not too bad, guys. It's not too bad. You'll be OK. Right? So just to the west is Washington Park. Of the universe of, of Hyde Park is uh, is Washington Park, and just to the south is Woodlawn. You guys know this already. So next, when the, the thing that we're talking about here is transit. So um, we, if you look, there's some green circles. So we drew the half a mile circle around the transit station. So again, we're looking at 51st and Prairie, and I have the ridership numbers up there. We're looking at Garfield Boulevard. Garfield is lucky to have this new Tiger grant that we got. So it's a $50 million renovation that's taking place of the historic station, one of the oldest stations on the, uh, on the Green Line. And then we have 63rd and Cottage. Now we also have a 63rd and King Drive station, but we're not focused on that for the purpose of this. We already have enough to do with these three stations already. So next, incubation. This is black metropolis, right? So part of what we're talking about here, right, is equitable development. This is the birthplace of Jet Magazine. This is the birthplace of, of Johnson Products, right? Uh, uh, anybody ever watched Sanford and Son growing up? Yeah. Red Fox, you know, it's from the neighborhood. So this is a neighborhood with a lot of history. And back then, back in my grandmother's day, this was a thriving community. But over time, 
disinvestment, disinvestment, uh, lack of investment, lack of access to capital, disinvestment. Uh, um, there was displacement, right? Robert Taylor Holmes was torn down. So there's a lot of displacement. So all of these things stopped that progress that was taking place. So what I thought is, first and foremost, is incubation. And that comes in the form of incubators themselves and accelerators, but also incubating businesses. So first, my group, Washington Park Development Group, we've acquired the former CPS school, Overton School. And we're going to create a uh, co-working space and small business uh, working center. Access Tennis has acquired a former CPS school uh, called Farron. And they're doing a youth small business incubator. Uh, Boxville 2.0, so Urban Juncture has developed Boxville. If you guys haven't visited Boxville, you need to. Uh, uh, first, there's a, the, the diaspora of the urban, of that, I, man, I'm gonna mess this title up. The, the, dia the foods from the African diaspora. So first, there's the Bonsville Jerk Shack. Come there, get a delicious meal. But then there's Boxville, right? We all read about how do we use these shipping containers? Well, Bernard is actually doing it, and he's working with local entrepreneurs, not only a space for them to work, but training them in terms of how to improve their businesses. While it's not business incubation, there's the arts incubator, right? And they're absolutely a part of what we're doing in the community. Um, and then you have Sunshine, Sunshine Gospel Ministries. You want a great cup of coffee? You don't have to go to Starbucks. Come on down to 61st Street. And, and Sunshine has a, uh, has a plan to develop 200 businesses along the 61st Street corridor, which was once a very bustling commercial corridor. They have an accelerator program and uh, accelerator and co-working spaces. So next, we have development that's taking place in the neighborhood, right? So it's one thing to be able to say, oh yeah, we have some great incubators going on, but we're not alone, right? Look, we have a star architect in the building. We got Juan right here that's developing an incredible new project <laughs> along Garfield Boulevard, which is going to complement the work that the University of Chicago is doing. Josh, that the University of Chicago is doing with the arts block. But we want to tie this back, Josh, back to incubation. We need Polsky Center to come assist us with the incubation. You guys are doing it in Hyde Park. We need to do it in Washington Park and in Woodlawn. Um, we have excess tennis. Any tennis players in the building? All right, we're going to sign you guys up for lessons. We have a new tennis facility that's being built. We have a data center that's being developed. Sweetwater Foundation. We have a farm in the city of Chicago, Perry Street Farms. All right? Blacks and green. Naomi has developed this incredible plan to create an urban arboretum. You guys don't even have to go to Warden Arboretum anymore. You can come down to the south side and you can get that. Rob Rose is going to get us all of the land that we need <laughs> from the land bank. And Poa, I mean, Poa has so much stuff going on, I didn't even know how to put it on the slide. I just started to just make the whole slide. Now, hold on, I got to go back one second, too. One thing I forgot, look at this. We're talking about this area right here, right? We got the University of Chicago. Josh, don't let us down, brother. Don't let us down. And we got the Obama Foundation, the Obama Center, right? All right. Next, Rob, call me, come up here with me for a second, Rob. <laughs> Washington Park and Woodline is home to almost three million square feet of city-owned vacant land. So to us, we see this as an opportunity, right? This is not. So Rob, we're counting on you, brother. If it's city-owned, that ain't me. You got Arnie Kotak in. Rob, we're counting on you, Rob. No, I got you. All right, all right. I got you. So no, no, there we go. Did you mention I got the building at 63rd and Cottage that we well, you're going to talk about that later. No, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Josh, Josh, come here. Before a pink line comes up, you come up too. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, this is Josh, guys. So we're creating accountability here. Rob's going to help us with land and development. And Josh is going to help us through the Polsky Center with incubation. All right? All right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.